It's week four of the NFL season, and uh, yeah, for some teams anyways, it's week four. Uh, stupid COVID, I hate this. I uh, hope everybody stays safe, though. We got a buffet of choices for the college game of the week. And the man behind Champ Kind from Anchorman, and Todd Packer as well, uh, David Kechner joins us to complete the third leg of our uh, of our parlay. So let's get after it. Hey guys, Chris Long here. Uh, this is the Green Light Gambling Show presented by DraftKings. Joining me as always to get this thing done, and we're going to be great this weekend, is Stanford Steve. How's it going, Steve? Uh, I'm still reeling after that uh, Falcons collapse, but... That was the right side. I don't care. That was one of our picks last week. My picks. It was the um, right side. It was the right side. I don't want to hear this stuff about the winning side is the right side. No, that was the right side. Well, it reminded me of Kansas City. and I know they've had trouble with with the Chargers traditionally because of the four-man mm-hmm. rush and that sort of thing, and Mahomes doesn't love it. But I bet against Tyrod Taylor, not Justin Herbert, a couple weeks ago when I teased that game. And I think it's it's only fair to point out that there should be an asterisk next to your loss there last week. I mean, Nick Foles murdered the fifth leg of a five-team parlay for me that would have hit, like, I mean, out of this world success for me relative to last Sunday. I saw you do a thing on him. How many actual plays did he wear the visor? It wasn't many. I don't know what's going on with the visor. I'm afraid. It was to- gone. Fast. I'm going to ask him, I think, because we are buddies, and I told him this week he needs to get a haircut. I saw he's got those sideburns. I'm like, dude, you're, tell- dude, you're telling people to get a haircut? Dude, I got a, well, this is called a, this is called a waterfall. Trash. That is trash. It's called a waterfall. Have you had a waterfall <laughs> lately? Never in my life. If you were that big time uh, co-host of yours on Midnight Sports Center had a waterfall in the last 20 years, no, <laughs> you can't come at my waterfall, bro. Uh, Your waterfall, that the, you're right. the, Delta, I, right. the river I, Delta is dried up. <laughs> I just, I, I, oh, we got two car garages, the whole nine, man. It is, it is a thing. I could just never growing up. I could never have hair touching my ears. It drive me crazy. Really? So you had the oh. military cut. Brutal. Always. High top fade, baby. High top fade. I can Big see that. Actually, Kane. I saw you in your program picture, the program picture at Stanford, and you looked you looked marvelous with the high and tight. So we had a bit of an up and down week last week. Uh, I went two and one in the pros. Steve, you went one and two. Both of us uh, at or above 500 for the year, though. So that's a positive. And in real life, I had a rough Sunday. I mean, I give these games out and I'm doing really nicely on the show, but in real life, it's just not clicking for me. And and one of the worst things was I gave out the over, um, and I forget which game it was, the New England-Oakland game. Oakland, yep. sorry, Las Vegas. I should be fined for that. I forgot to actually bet it. So I gave it out on the show. I forgot to bet it, and uh, alas. Two and one, though. Pretty good. Don't forget to bet picks. Come on. Yeah, I'm trying. I mean, be better. I, I don't trust myself yet, I guess. But Put I'll start the donuts with... down on Sunday morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, the problem is I get them in like late at Friday night at one in the morning, like in bed before I go to sleep. I'm like, <laughs> I'm getting ahead. And then I forget to get. <laughs> so anyways, uh, this week, I'll start with uh, the Rams. You know, they're pissed off. They've been on the on the road mm. around the world the last two weeks. Don't let that deficit fool you last week. They were moving the ball all game. There is no reason to believe they won't score 40 points on the Giants, and I don't see how the Giants score on this defense. I really don't, um, at least not with regularity. It's a couple touchdowns or just south of it right now. I think they run away with this thing, and um, I can't decide what what I'm more worried about if I'm the Giants giving up a 40-burger or getting shut out. It's, <laughs> it's, not, it's not pretty. Not. Either way you look at it. It seems like free money, which is famous last words, so maybe bet that one with, uh, you know. Just, with... <laughs> just don't forget to bet it. Just That's what you're saying. Don't forget to bet it. <laughs> I also like Arizona. Um, listen, Arizona, it's right around a field goal right now, is a team that lost the game to Detroit last week that I think maybe they shouldn't have. Um, I think they get right this weekend. Just too much firepower. 
Um, I think they win this one one going away, actually. The line's a little bit fishy to me, and it kind of scares me. I, I like Arizona uh, by a field goal or more. Okay. Um, right. And then last, give me the Dallas-Cleveland uh, over. Mm. Uh, it's just too good to be true, which is not a great thing, but it's hovering in the mid-50s right now. The way I'm thinking about this is what is – Cleveland's floor against a team that's given up nine passing touchdowns already. They didn't give up nine till week 10 last year. So Mm -hmm. something's wrong uh, in Dallas defensively. And another problem is they're not getting home. You know, Alton Smith had the three sack game, talked about him on my show. I don't think that's sustainable for him. You know, Dwayne Brown played poorly last week. Mm -hmm. Guys aren't getting home. The Griffin thing's not paying off. Demarcus Lawrence isn't the same guy. Um, I think I think you could have a nice day if you're Cleveland offensively and Dallas is going to move the ball. Yeah, that that seems like a do or die for me um, with the with the Cowboys. Just Jared coming out and saying Dak is Mahomes if this and if that. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a still a different tier for me uh, for old Dak and and when if you're going to try and throw him in Patrick Mahomes and is, they're uh, going to dent and they're going to dent Dallas in the run game. They're just going to dent them. I mean, those well, two backs are just scary. I, 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 I mean, I've, I watched a lot of that Cleveland. I like, I don't know why I love watching Cleveland football uh, games, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, man, Nick Chubb runs through tackles. Like it, he doesn't even hesitate. Like he just, I mean, guys, arms are just buckle. Uh, and then he, I mean, he just has a way of not losing speed, getting the angle always on the secondary to the sideline. And he's in, he's uh, it's, it's really, really cool to watch on how, simple he makes things look yeah but it just goes back to how strong and fluid he is man his legs are ridiculously strong so good luck uh that cowboy secondary trying to tackle him right now he's the best back on the field sunday and that's not taking anything away from zeke but nobody's broke that's more a hot tackles. take though yeah there's that's no, a hot take nobody's broke more tackles in the last two years than than nick chubb i mean his uh you know him and hunt lead the league in you know yards if you're in the net next gen stats yards over what's expected um Mm -hmm. and like they don't have the same setup that zeke has had there uh i know right now they're down two tackles and you know we'll see what happens sunday but i it's just impressive to me what they've done with poor quarterback play if you're being honest and an offensive line that's been in flux so i really think kareem hunts uh you know kareem hunt and and nick chubb that one two punch is definitely something that you're going to be excited about sunday yeah, I credit Stefanski too for uh, you know yeah, doing no, no, what he's it. doing and too. Uh, all right, so with that, I'm going to have the Cowboys as one of my picks. <laughs> uh, I mentioned do or die. I really think this is like I, I looked at the first three games. I thought they possibly could go one and two. I know they had a lot of hype. Uh, you mentioned the offensive line for the uh, Cleveland. I look at the other one like. Um, Zach Martin was out there playing right tackle against Seattle. We know Seattle is very. Uh, let's just call them not firm on the defensive line. Yeah. Uh, so I'm interested to see what they game plan for Garrett. I think they will. Uh, Dallas is, is, is pretty good like that. I, I feel like, and I feel like Cleveland's uh, defense is still uh, pretty suspect. Uh, Haskins was awful last week. I mean, you and I could have had caught a couple of those interceptions. It was just, what are you looking at? Like, yeah. Old, old school Vinny Testaverde, oh, my God, throws. So I'm going to take Dallas. I think this is a, uh, a a big game for them, knowing what's at stake as you look forward. I know everybody's going crazy about them, you know, being double-digit wins, but let's face it, you're not going to need double-digit wins to win this division. So no. I think Dallas gets back on track here. High-scoring game, I do like that. Uh, so I agree with you there. So we're going to go Dallas there. I also uh, – a battle of winless teams. I don't know why. Um the Texans should be given that many points, but I like Minnesota. Oh. I feel like they got something going with Jefferson last week. Uh, I just, I, it's not going to be pretty. I get it, but we're getting four and a half points. So I'll take, I'll take losing a field goal game. Uh, maybe good. Cause will be back uh, a little bit. Thielen <laughs> got a little pulse, uh, but we'll see. Uh, get Dalvin going against uh, a Houston, but Houston, Again, uh, Deshaun Watson last week, I, I, it, it bothers me, the decision. He turned that whole game around, 
scrambling to his right around midfield, going out of bounds, and then throws the ball across the field. Uh, that's a horrible, horrible decision. They had to lead then. They were up 21-20. They had Will, Will Fuller involved. And then, you know, I mean, good teams capitalize on that stuff, and that's what the Steelers did, and, and it wasn't looking back. So I, I just – Deshaun is just not performing. And I know he doesn't, everybody talks about he doesn't have help and D and, and nuke is gone and stuff like that, but he could be playing man, better. Oh man, that's, that's never been a, an acceptable excuse for anybody else. Exactly. I just, I think he need, um, he, he should be playing better at the level that I expect Deshaun Watson to be. Now he could come out and play uh, a lot better this week, which I'm, I'm expecting, but hopefully he just wins by three points. I love Deshaun uh, we'll Watson. Take the point I'd out. love to see him play better. It's one of those things. Yeah. Same conversation, not to the same degree. He's played he's far outplayed Carson Wentz this year, but I put those two guys in the same category coming in this year. Fringe top five guys, a lot of talent, okay. play extenders, and Deshaun has not been great. Now, Carson's been worse, but Deshaun yeah. has definitely not. The, listen, I still don't mind, and we talked about this, just because you know what you're missing and the in DeAndre Hopkins, like you got to move on. Yeah, you've got Will exactly. Fuller, you've got Randall Cobb. You've you've got you know David Johnson out of the backfield. You've you've got some some. I really like pieces. the Aikens kid too. Yep. So I really like him. He's a big boy. So it's time for them to. I, I really I think they get the win outright this weekend, and and you think it might be a field goal loss for the for the Vikings, but yeah, it's 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 a shit show in both those places right now. <laughs> That's a nice way of putting it. And the other one, I'm just going to, the next, our third pick, I'm just going to say it's a situation, Chris. Okay. It's a situation that I look at and I know it's not a great situation to bet off of <laughs> because we're going to go, we're going against Russell Wilson, yeah. who I honestly think I would rather bet against Patrick Mahomes than Russell Wilson. Right. I, I honestly think last, last week, those two guys just watching them in, in prime time and not having to watch anything else at the same time. Oh my God. I, I just will say as soon as Dallas scores, you know, Wilson has way too much time. I, yeah. I, I honestly thought he was going to throw a touchdown pass with no time left. Right. Like that's, that's how good he has been and how good he is in those situations. But I look at them going all the way down to Miami. There's not a longer flight in the league. I look at the, I mean, it's been humid as hell. My man, Chris Felica was down in Miami on game day last week and sweating through shirts like yeah. nobody's business. Now I know Seattle's in better shape than my man, the bear, but I just, I just, I think it's a, a rough spot for Seattle here. Uh, Miami's playing well. I really like Miami's defensive line, the way they're playing uh, Christian Wilkins and those guys up front. So I I'm going to take the six and a half and very lightly take six and a half with the dolphins. It's a, it's a situation I for me. The dolphins. Oh, I, no, no, that's you right now. Oh yeah, I do. I, I think, I think it's going to be tight. Yeah. No, listen, I, I see that. I see the flight. I see the humidity. I think up front they have an advantage. Who doesn't have an up, up front advantage against Seattle? I mean, they just yeah. Been, but I mean, Fitzy could sling it. I mean, Miami's got studs thing. at receivers, man. And they listen, really do. Fitzy is the guy that every all the fantasy people. I know it's a gambling show, but all the fantasy people are like, get Fitzy this week. And in fact, I did that. Um, I think he's gonna have a big day. What I just, you? They better win the fucking game because <laughs> I have a big fat teaser. Uh, on the Rams and the uh, and 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 the Seahawks. Thing. Yep. Oh, all Big right. Fat boy. So uh, okay. Pray for your boy. Uh, large. Let's go. Large college and in charge. Game of the week. Uh, yes. And you you you're, you're delivering with this one. I love this. This is deep, uh, deep cut. Yeah, this one's been circled for a while. It's really tough to find the line, but you can get it. Uh, DraftKings has it. It's North Dakota State. Uh, we know they're um, as as an FCS powerhouse. Uh, obviously, Carson Wentz is from there. Everybody knows the whole deal. How how awesome uh, the place is when game day there. It, it was nuts. Um, but they have a quarterback in the uh, kid named Trey Lance who possibly could be the top quarterback taken in the draft. Yes, I'm saying this. Uh, yes, I know Trevor Lawrence is out there. Yes, I know Fields is out there. This kid could be the top quarterback taken in the draft. Trey Lance is his name. It's their only game they're playing this season. They took this to showcase him off. It's a 3.30 game on ESPN+. Plus. They're playing um, Central Arkansas, who actually uh, played earlier this year against UAB. Didn't look great. I just look at this as a one-game season for a kid that's trying to showcase what he does. And in the past, when North Dakota State has has wanted to put one on somebody, 
They have delivered and put one on somebody. So we're going to lay the 23 with the Bison. I'm on it just for you. I'm on it just for you, and I love the pronunciation. Yep, it is. It's the Bison. They get mad. They get mad. Do they get mad when you say the Bison? Yeah. No, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, don't say So is that. it singular Bison and plural Bison? I don't know. It's just the Bison. They love being the Bison. Get it together, Steve. You got to know this stuff. You know, I don't know. I you, you, you live up there for half a year. No, I don't live in North Dakota. It's way different. Close Not enough. The, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go joint bank account. I like, uh, I'll go Chargers and get weird. You know, uh, wow. Yeah, okay. My, my reasoning is Tom and a four man rush, an effective four man rush traditionally is a problem. And I like them in this spot to keep the points down and it'd be competitive. And who knows? I really, that's my favorite matchup to watch this week is that, uh, chargers defensive line against Tampa offensive line. Yeah. I thought, I thought the chargers defensive line gave it to Kansas city yeah. for three and a half quarters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they got in there. And, uh, so yeah, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm expecting time to do a couple of those little dive sacks. So he doesn't the get hit. Sacks. Yeah. I the dive those. sacks. Yeah. Uh, so I, I can imagine how D line fight oh. over those. Um, I can't imagine it's, like uh, but hyenas. that's, no, that's, that's my favorite matchup to watch this weekend. Uh, for sure. So I'm glad you're going with that. I'm just going to, I'm going to get it even a little crazier. I'm going to go coach Belichick against Mahomes, and Ooh. why not? If there's going to be a, a person to come up with something that's going to slow them down, it's going to be them. Maybe they run the ball 79 million times and, and just keep that. I mean, Brian Greasy, after after Monday night, he's he's convinced the only way to slow them down is to keep the ball away from them. So yeah, I, mean, I, like, and, and, I can and see all those running backs for the Patriots getting carries. That didn't work for Lamar, but at this point, who's throwing the ball better? I mean, Cam Newton, yeah. in a, in a, take him in a heartbeat over Lamar if you're down a touchdown. Um, yep. And it's it's funny. It's like if you're Mahomes and if you're the the Chiefs, you, you should on fa- on paper feel really good about this. Mahomes has struggled, relatively speaking, against the Pats. This defense is not the same defense, and they no. really struggled playing man this year. And that you know um, that should be a good thing. They should get away from it because you don't want to play man against Pat, in my opinion. Um, it's Patrick. Figured, His mom named him Patrick. Patrick. Sorry, I don't want to fuck right. that up one week here. Yeah. Um, but like. It's one of those things that you just got the the monkey off your back and now they change their whole style of play, you know, in New England. So, and you got to figure New England being touchdown dogs at home, they're going to take this thing personally. So I don't hate that. I, I don't love it money line, but if you had picked it as one of your three, I think I think we're, we'll see what Kechner does to bring this thing home. We need a bold prediction for you because we, we do this, um, I don't even know, a good joint bank account parlay thing with me and Stanford Steve. You know the ball guy that's on TV with Scott Van Pelt at midnight? Okay, yeah. Do you, yep, my buddy Steve. Me and him do a leg each, so we need a third leg, and I guess what we'd get from you maybe is the score of your side team uh, versus the Indianapolis Colts this weekend. Let's see. Okay, so you got Foles. I don't know who's hurt. Okay, you got you got Foles. That's a plus. How's how's the Chicago defense? Chicago defense is strong to quite strong. We've got okay. Akeem Hicks, Robert Quinn, my old partner in crime, and Khalil Mack. Uh, I know, but but the secondary is a little bit sus. It's a little bit suspect, but what the secondary doesn't have, Philip Rivers will make it up in the fourth quarter. Oh uh, wait, I forgot throwing I forgot the ball to the other up. team. I forgot it's Philip Rivers. Yeah. <laughs> God bless him. <laughs> God bless him. Is is it in Chicago? Uh, I don't even pay attention. It is to, in, Chicago. in Chicago because there's no fans now. I just uh, yeah, it's in Chicago. So um, I'm gonna say uh, twenty eight fourteen Chicago. I love it. Cover city and the under. I love it. All right, cool. Were they were they thinking it's going to be a high scoring game? No, nah, but I like the under. It's like forty three right now. So you're yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's is, not. Gonna... You should do this for a living. You, I know you haven't glanced at the lines. This is no, I have not. But I have I mean, not. That's that's not going to be a that's not going to be a shootout. Oh man, because our next segment, I was going to talk about how excited I am to see the game. Oh uh, no, I, I of course Chicago. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. exciting. Plus, when's the last time the Bears were three and zero? It could be a chaotic, fun Sunday. 
Could Absolutely. Be, like you thought Let's last week was chaotic. You, this this weekend is going to be nuts. This, this is, I was going to say, say this, Chris, too. It, this is a this is a dicey weekend bet in NFL because also you look at all these over unders. All right, and I think they should be higher. And it's just it, this is this. If you're ahead of it and you like all the, all the overs, uh, like our guy Big Cat does, and just bets you know blind yeah. overs, you're you're gonna you really like the slate this week. But I will say. This in the league, you played in it. This is another week where the defense starts to, I think, catch up Especially a little bit. Especially with what you know the situation we're in. So, yeah. So it's 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 really interesting to see the numbers this week and, and how that goes. So uh, be careful out there. Yeah, be careful right? out there. Bet don't bet any money you don't have. That's bet, the biggest bet part. Bet responsibly and listen to us. <laughs> so that's it. Our thanks always uh, to Stanford Steve uh, and 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 the rest of the crew here at, uh, at the Greenlight Studios. We'll catch you next week with another installment of Greenlight Gambling. Gamble responsibly, and one more time, just listen to us, guys. Take it easy, Steve. Thank you, Christopher.